quality and what sort of style of play. So it, it, they should they should know. But we got a new group. How, how it unfolds here in the, in the first 15 minutes. Perino looking around. Wisdom just gives it right back up to Chad Bartlemé from Grass Valley, California. It's about an hour north of here. And so, and I think they're going to come out flying the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes for me is don't concede. Come out nil-nil in the first 10 minutes and hopefully think. Uh, able, to, able to do, I should say, is really finding Thompson. Thompson loses it. He was trying to find Bartlemé. But here's Thompson again. He's so quick, so agile. He's very aggressive. Back again, working that right side, screening off Tommy Thompson. Right in the wing is now Wisdom into the middle. Up. It's the haves and haves not. They want to be one of the haves. Yeah, and you know, I think a lot of credit is due to West Brom. Being in that relegation fight the last third of the season or the last month of the season, so you're for staying up after that tough battle. There's probably like six or seven, maybe even eight teams that were. Um, and in a fourth place in their pool, um, lost two, drew for another to play. Here he is in the uh, fluorescent blue uniform. Wide off, and here's Barry on the right side. Looking for a teammate, Wisdom. Sliding tackle, sends it away as Gilbert. And yeah, and if, if, if there's any, he, he's Nigerian as well, um, and just a similar cabal off his foot if he can. Much in that situation. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the broadcast here this evening, especially all the way about to set. We, but we do appreciate you tuning in, and you can catch like seeing Jack come out here. He can use his pace, get up and down the flank, and maybe allow Tommy Thompson to kind of box, and Ichibi goes down up here. Honestly, probably looked like his love. Nice pass by Gilberto. Avesian trying to angle toward the net, maybe try to pick up a corner here, and nicely done. It's just keeping it up was wisdom. He did not allow it to get on the end line. Yeah, good battle there. Jack takes his, takes his touch, makes his move, tries to be, beat wins, wisdom. Wisdom's up to the task. Keeps the ball, ends up dribbling it out, kicking it off of Asian for a throw. And so, good play by both guys. Bart, a top tier in Sao Paulo, 16 matches, one goal, but he was transferred to the Phillies, almost off page a little bit. They really seem to be playing well. The 11 here, working in unison. Rom, who has scored, trying to gain the, the ones who are trying to get to that higher level. And you can see the difference of play between the two. Yeah, it looks like Jack might be a little shell shocked right now. You know, whenever I get in that situation. The 17th contest. West Brom again on the attack. It's been too easy to get down the field. Run on the right side. It could be two to one, but instead, West Brom is just starting to toy with it. Chris, they have been stronger, and they have been tougher, and Tommy Thompson takes another between the two of those guys there. And a need to be fast of seven year span, put it 26 into the net. Scored three for West Brom last season, so this guy finding Gilbert, excuse me, the Tommy point, the pass is more crisp, more calculated tonight. You know, comes all the way from the striker position to make the play defensively. Yeah, too many touch goes down and gets a set chance for Sacramento here. Realizing that there's not much chance there, brings it out and they keep it. You know, in the 13th minute, and then Malumbo in the 30th, and deep for the baggies. And then we're in. Tommy, good ball in. He's happy. Play it, play it. Bridge changes plates from the black to yellow. Maybe he didn't uh, like what he had. Padilla may have been a yep. little bit uh, too aggressive. Yeah, Padilla just comes in really, really strongly. A little bit too aggressive on that. It might have been Malumbu on the side or by Barino, who looked like they might have been trying to take it off their chest rather than go up for that, that header. Checked in at half, so a couple of guys getting the 45-minute marks. O'Neal. And I like what Sacramento's done here. Much better pace, much more aggressive. Stop hanging your head. They seem to be a little bit more alive. Give up a foul there, West Brom. Showing some of that speed, but it, we've seen West Brom as soon as... Makes that great, great run forward. Rather than forcing things, he keeps the ball is what they typically do, and they do a very good job at that. He should be there, switching the field. Flat to the other side of the park. Here's See, they got. Uh, it's not. If I'm Precky, I'm getting up and I'm making sure that my guys are working hard. And in these situations, Olson, West Brom, and that one's just a little bit too much power there. Right. Especially Koval coming in for the night. Get O'Neal looking for a give and go on the right side and tapped in trouble, which is has not been uh, what Sacramento's needed. Probably gets his biggest. Routinely handled. 
And a whistle blows here. It's got a cramp down right, here. Little, uh, but, but cramp to check things out as we pause for a moment. But sometimes, Rob, not making the run is the right move and the right decision. And sometimes I think you see Tommy's sometimes guilty of that. It's not for lack of effort. So it's something that's, you know, very coachable. And it's just a matter of teaching these guys, getting some video, showing them situations, get them in situations where maybe they should hold back, sit back, or make a run outside uh, of where the run of play is going. Um, and it just comes down to, you know, your intelligence on the field. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, those film sessions. You're going to have a coach, whether it's one of the or, or times during the game where they should be doing something other than what they were doing. We get punished for it, and there's a few other giveaways that we had. And then Malumbo in the 30th, and then HEB. Koval. He is composed on the ball. And you know what I think these guys at the time, and I think it was uh, Ben Foster and My Hill and Craig Gardner playing Pebble Beach. And uh, Craig Gardner did see him tonight, but... But uh, it was Craig Gardner who played with Aston Vila for so many seasons. Played with Sunder in a couple golf games, and you got to appreciate that. Uh, uh, they woke up at like 2 or 3 in the morning to make that happen.